Welcome to the Inspire and Learn series. We are TMG, a multi-award winning dealership in Australia specialising in catamarans. Join us as our expert team teach you all about anchoring, docking, rigging, sail trim, maintenance and so much more so you can build confidence in your catamaran handling ability. In this episode, we are going back to basics. Let's talk about how to use a winch. Hello and welcome back to another Inspire and Learn Back to Basics episode. My name is Joe Fox from TMG. We're out filming some sail hoisting today, but unfortunately the wind has completely dropped off. So to fill our time, we are going to talk through using one of these electric winches that we have on board. Now, all electric winches operate in a very similar way, but I'm gonna show you through the electric Harken winch that we have here as standard on all Lagoon 42s. Now we use an electric winch for pulling lines. So under normal circumstances, I can pull this line, no problem. Once there is pressure in it, once the sail is full of wind, once we're hoisting something heavy up the mast, there becomes a lot of load in this. So that's when we need help from the winch. Now, in terms of loading the winch, the winches always spin one way. So you always load your winch, no matter the make, the brand or the size, you always load your winch in a clockwise direction because the winch spins clockwise. To load, you start from the bottom one turn on, push it all the way down. Another turn on, neatly stacked on top of it. And a third turn on. Now for pulling medium loads on a winch like this, three turns is probably enough. If you are hoisting something heavy, mainsail, if you're sailing in a lot of wind, you might go four turns. Also depends on the size of the line. So I might even get five on here with this thinner line, but a thicker line I might only get four. This is the main friction point. So there's so much friction built up in the winch that when the drum turns, it pulls. But if I let go of this, it doesn't turn. It doesn't pull the line because it's just slipping. So there is a self-tailor, this stainless steel tongue which sticks down. You run the line over that and into the teeth at the top. Now this, these teeth here on a spring, you pull the line in and they grip the line nice and tight. Now, when I press the electric winch, that'll pull a lot of weight relatively easily. There are two speeds as well. So for faster, lighter jobs, I use the fast one or for more power, but a slower winching process, I use number two. Notice again, they're both spinning the same way. Now it's very important when you're loading the winch that you keep your fingers clear. This is a very high power piece of kit with a line. It's very unforgiving. So even when you're loading, you want to keep your fingers well clear, running around like so. And that's how you load your winch. Something to watch out for when you are using one of these winches is not overloading it. If you overload the winch, you know, put it all the way up there, you can get a, an overwrap or an override, which means the rope kind of rides over itself, locks onto itself, and it can be very hard to undo. So you need to have as many wraps on the winch as you need to have control, but not too many. Don't overload the winch. Now, the second half of using one of these winches is easing it out or letting sails out, letting out, letting a code zero down back onto the deck. Now, the winch has a lot of weight on it. If you're using it with a sail up, this line on the other side will have a lot of tension. If you take it out of the teeth and let go, it will slide. And you know, if you've got a sail that's been hoisted, it will fall down very quickly. So there is a process to this, which you need to follow. To take the rope out of the teeth, keep your little fingers towards the winch. Do not hold the rope like this. Okay? because this is a very powerful thing. You do not want, you do not want your, your fingers getting sucked into the winch. Keeping the tension on the line, pull it out of the teeth. Now, I'm holding the weight with the friction on here of whatever I'm holding here. If I need to take off a few more turns, that's okay. And then to ease out the winch, to lower something down the rig, I simply let it out like this. If I need to take a turn off, I can again, keeping tension on it, like so. As you're lowering this down, if this just needs a little bit of help turning around the drum, you can put your hand very flat so it doesn't get caught to just help the turns roll around the drum. Just be very mindful of your thumb and any other catch points for staying clear of any of the pinch points around this side of the winch. 
Once you've finished using it and you've done all the pulling you need to do, you might need to use this winch with another line, maybe you know the main halyard or the jib sheet. So in order to safely unload this winch, you need to close the jammer or the clutch first. Closing that, pushing it all the way down. This holds the line. You can then unwrap the winch like so. This winch is then free to load whatever line you need right onto it. We hope you enjoyed this back to basics rope work video on using the winch. We will be doing more, so do keep an eye on the channel. If you did enjoy this video, do give us a like and a subscribe to be updated with more content just like this. We'll see you soon, thank you. Join us in the next episode for more inspirational and educational content so that you can feel confident in your catamaran handling ability. We'll see you then.